Today, we tried out some rugby hospitality at Sandy Park, the home of Exeter Chiefs. First up, a quick check of the map. Then before heading into hospitality for today's match versus Newcastle, it was off to the club shop. Loads of merchandise inside sporting the new logo and everything from hats through to gilets and hoodies. And as rugby home kits go, gotta say, a big fan of the Exeter Chiefs, love a black kit. Spotted some signed player cards as well. Going to be sitting next to one of these guys a bit later on and obviously a few rugby balls. Then with three hours to go until kickoff, hospitality opened, so we made our way through the main entrance. Welcomed by staff who gave us a hospitality wristband as well as our match day hospitality pack. Before heading upstairs, it was past the club's trophy cabinet, quite a few on display. Then there is lift access up to the different hospitality levels. We opted to take the stairs instead to the second floor. Passed a few photos of the Chiefs Premiership wins and then greeted by another member of staff who pointed us in the right direction to 1905 hospitality. Into the lounge where our names were checked off the guest list and there is a welcome drink. Other drinks are available. Then a member of staff took us to our allocated shared table and waiting at the table was a guest to score competition. So we thought we'd have a go. Not too far off. Then throughout the afternoon, it's a case of helping yourself to your different courses. And for starters, there was loads to choose from. Grabbed a plate and loaded it up with seafood, bread, cured meats and salad. Back to the table to enjoy. And when you're at the table, it's a good idea to download the Sandy Park app or you can order drinks to your table. And good news, they're all unlimited. There was a host inside the lounge who kept us updated throughout the afternoon, as well as a few Q&As with some current players. And we got a photo with Oli Devoto, who sat with us throughout the afternoon. There is a QR code on the table, and if you scan it, you do get access to the match day program. Not long to go now until the start of the match, so we made our way up to the food counter for main course, and on today's menu, it was a choice of roast beef or roast pork, with loads of vegetables. And it's a case of helping yourself to as much as you like. And obviously, we went for a good serving of gravy. Really good roast dinner. Definitely one of the highlights of the afternoon. And the Chiefs napkins were a nice touch. With an hour to go until kickoff, we did receive a team sheet. And after we polished off our main course, it was up to the dessert selection. And a small mountain of cheese. Really enjoyed the selection of sweet treats and make sure you head back into the lounge at full time to grab a pie. And at the same time, we heard from the Exeter Chiefs head coach. Great to hear some post-match insights and he did stick around for a post-match sponsors presentation. Back to before the match and we did grab a hot drink pre-kickoff. No bovril this time, instead we went for a coffee or if you'd rather, you can take a cold drink in a plastic cup. Then there was a short walk out of the lounge with access to the West Grandstand. Down a few steps with about 10 minutes to go until kickoff and to your allocated seat on the halfway line. And we started with a hot drink, then at half time, grabbed ourselves a pint. Hospitality tickets are sold on a match by match basis for 300 pounds per person. And it's worth saying, this was for the 22-23 season, and this particular package was launched towards the end of the season. A big thanks to Exeter Chiefs for the invite and letting us sample some hospitality. And a recommendation from us, after the post-match pies and insight from the head coach, it's worth making your way out of Sandy Park and around the outside of the stadium, and into one of the bars to catch up with a load of Exeter Chiefs fans and maybe a few away fans. We continued through into the Powderham Castle Bar, where there is a great atmosphere and a DJ. The bar did stay open until late and the music continued as well. And a lot of people did stick around to watch the Six Nations matches. And if you need somewhere to stay after you've finished, Good news because the courtyard by Marriott Hotel is located right next to the stadium. A big thanks to the hotel for hooking us up with a room for the night. And a question for you guys. 
where should we go for the next padded seat?